Okay, new heat alert, new heat alert. <sighs> Went shopping. And I did something I haven't done before. Copped a pair of Nike Daybreak types or Nike D-Break types. First time ever having this shoe, but I low-key really like these. Man, number one, anytime we get that, you know, cross trainer or just runner style shoe, always a cool little vibe with that, man. Super comfy, especially for the summertime. But when I think of this shoe, a couple of things that I like about it, first off, this like net on it, right? It's net the whole way through, very breathable, which I always love for a summer shoe. I hate when my foot feels hot. You don't want hot feet. Hot feet equals stinky feet. That's a no-go for me. Can't have it. But with this shoe, like I said, very breathable. And then I just love the different styles of texture. So like right here, it's almost like a, it's a suede, leathery feel. Obviously, it's um it's been distorted a little bit or uh what was the other word they used for it? Distressed <laughs> a little bit on that. And then, you know, on the back, it's a lot smoother. But I love the transition of the colors here, man. You obviously have your white, got your yellows here. Purple, go Dukes. <laughs> and then you got this like darker gray uh, color as well on the shoe. But the thing that really stands out to me about this shoe is the collection that it's with. It's a part of the Dia, uh, Dia de Muertos or Dia de los Muertos, depending on where you're from and how you want to pronounce it. But it's all about the Day of the Dead celebration that takes place, you know, in, um, in Mexico City, I believe, is where they typically have the big parade and festival for it and when you talk about just the day of the dead i mean the concept in general i love because we all have lost people right but instead of focusing on the sad times and always being very depressed about it they focus on the highlights of this person's life that they have lost and they celebrate them and i just thought it was a cool thing it's been on my bucket list to actually go to one of their uh, festivals ever since i think it was james bond spectra was the movie where at the beginning of it they have a scene where they're going through the uh, the day of the dead uh, cel uh celebration and things like that so ever since then i've always wanted to check it out but when I saw these shoes <laughs> and I could just see <clears throat> the different, like I said, man, uh, just the different touches of that heritage, man, from that Dia, Dia, Dos, uh, Dia de Muertos, <laughs> excuse me, just from that culture and from that whole, you know, movement and stuff like that. But I love the lines on it. Then on the back, on the, uh, on the hill tags, you see you got Para Mi familiar man for my family, for all my Spanish people out there, baby. If you was in Spanish one, you should know that. But then also you look on the inside of it, man, got some more designs right here. Just keeping the culture moving, man. But I really am digging this shoe, bro. Oh, my goodness. Ton of grip if I were to go running in them, which I won't because I don't run. Nah, them days are over. But these, this is clean, man. I really rock with this shoe. So let me know, man, how y'all feel about the Nike D-Break type Dia de Muertos collection. You know, if you're rocking with them or not, man. Because like I said, they just... It's something about them. I just really like them. I can't wait to put this on, though, man. I think it's going to be crazy comfy. Yeah, definitely the summertime vibe, though, with this kick right here. So if you're feeling these, let me know in the comment section. Also, man, if you like Dia de, Mor uh, Dia de Muertos and that celebration, man, let me know that as well. If you've been to it, let me know because, I, like I said, I really want to go, man. I think it's just a cool uh, atmosphere and things like that. And obviously, we can all relate to that. So with that being said, man, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. And until next time, baby. Peace.